The Trans Europa Caravan project is a project that is happening in 15 European countries. Uh, there are five caravans traveling, each of them in three countries, um, to meet organizations, people, cities, institutions, anything that works for a better Europe, a more solidary one, more, more open-minded, more uh, ecological, <coughs> more progressist. So each route of um, the caravans that uh, we planned and organized um, is about 12 days long. But it took so much more time beforehand to, to gather people who would be interested to join the teams, uh, to train them, to prepare them to become trainers and multipliers and facilitators and go in the street in different countries and work with people they will meet. For them to finally set off with their caravans that is starting now, like this day, so we are very excited because three caravans are actually already on their way. During the Trans Europa caravans, we're going to connect like a um, lot of uh, people, like citizens, collect their stories, but also connect their struggles and visit initiatives that are already working on all these struggles and um, also different ideas, like for the future of Europe. And we hope to also be able to share like some of our knowledge, our skills with them and to join forces to um, inform people and engage them to build a greater Europe together and to actually vote this time to make that happen. So uh, we are meeting different places, different people, and we are deciding if this specific um, a place or action is can be considered a good practice. So something that other people in other countries can either join or uh, implement in their countries on the local, um, uh, like in the local reality. We want to show that Europe is something different than um, our nationalistic leaders may be talking about, or a bit different from the idea that maybe the European Commission is trying to present. I mean, it really is a collection of identities, stories, struggles, people's lives, lifestyles. Uh, as we could see in the Vis Visegrad caravan that is already on their way, um, there are stories of Ukrainians, Serbians, people who are not EU citizens, but they are living in the EU and they have their own story to tell. And that's still Europe. Yeah, generally phrases for future movements mm -hmm. and also other movements in uh, Germany. Beyond the nation state, together from Lisbon to Warsaw, from London to Rome, from Athens to Berlin, then we know that we can solve those problems together and be stronger than only fighting in our local community or in the nation state, which definitely in my opinion will not be able to solve uh, problems like my, the migration or uh, climate change or financial capitalism. And we want to connect. So sometimes there are small places of resistance or some uh, struggles that people are sharing on the global perspective. We will be uh, traveling through uh, Germany, Austria and Hungary, but we uh, have 15 activists who will be visiting also Portugal and Spain and France and um, Italy. And um, yeah, so, so sometimes the struggles are similar, but people don't know about their existence even. So we want to connect them both internationally and maybe even locally. <laughs> I think um, all of us decided to take part of this project because uh, we care and we think that uh, there are things going on in Europe that actually show that uh, not everything is negative and not only like the far right is winning and therefore it's like our duty as citizens to, to act in, in the way we can and to, to give visibility to these organizations and people and individuals that throughout Europe um, give faith and, and hope that the future is actually can be better. I think it's, uh, speaking about European elections, it's extremely important uh, what we're trying to do. Um, I hope we will be successful in trying to spread the word about European elections because um, n never before today 
since uh, the European Union was first founded, we have been in such troubling times uh, as today. We have uh, global challenges that we can face only if we stay united as Europe. Uh, national states have very little prospects to be able to face these global challenges alone, starting from the environment, which is a very big topic these days, but also to, um, to really protect these spaces, the civic spaces that people have, that people have created and that are threatened to be shut down or to be you know, boycotted in, in some other ways. Uh, with anti-democratic laws, anti-democratic politicians, which is something very dangerous. And this is why with European elections and by going to vote in European elections, we have it, an opportunity to really say no to all this and to make a statement. Be active. Be critical. Be conscious. Go and vote. <laughs> <laughs>